as you know, many people, many people here have been hoping to improve this bridge uh, for, for a long, long time. And you know, there was a feasibility study that was done back in 2014, kind of got to report in 2015. And then we had that extensive meeting at Oakland Mills and other barn, I think about a three hour meeting talking about the different options and what we could maybe do. Uh, this morning, I want to announce, but before I even do that, I have to acknowledge County Council Person Mary Kay Signy is here. I didn't acknowledge her. Thank you very much for being here, Mary Kay. And I know that Calvin was, I thought, trying to come, and hopefully he'll be here soon. Uh, this morning I want to announce that we will move forward on upgrading the Route 29 pedestrian bridge by incorporating a geodesic, as you can see right here, tube with a spiral as these renderings show. Yeah, yeah. Um, we know all, we all know this bridge has long needed repairs. And with Columbia turning 50 this year, it signifies not only the success of our community, but also the need for the, to ensure that the infrastructure gets repaired as well and meets the demands of the community. It's my pleasure to say that we are finally taking action to make these much needed short-term improvements. The project we're undertaking will address safety issues with improved and upgraded lighting, as you can see from the renderings. In addition, the cameras on the bridge now, the current cameras, provide our police department with images that are less than optimal, as you all know. Uh, we will be installing fiber in a conduit under the bridge that will enable our police department to have a crystal clear image from its cameras, further enhancing our safety. Furthermore, the spiraling geodesic tube will add a unique visual element to the bridge and greatly improve its aesthetics. Whether you're crossing the bridge by foot, by bike, or passing under it in a vehicle, or simply gazing it from the paddle boat on Lake Kilimacundi, this upgrade will transform the bridge into another iconic landmark for Columbia. While these improvements will assist in the short term, my administration will continue to work with the Friends of Bridge Columbia, state officials, and the community at large to evaluate longer term options to improve connections between downtown and Oakland Mills. I, I do also want to acknowledge uh, the Howard Hughes Corporation's commitment uh, to the community in developing this beautiful pathway that we're standing on and the additional investment of five hundred thousand dollars to help with the bridge improvement so thank you very much Greg and Howard Hughes we expect this project to cost a little more than one million dollars with the work beginning this fall and being completed by the spring of 2018 now when I yeah that's good but Jenny thank you but I will tell you, I remember sitting down with Mary Kay earlier this, or maybe late last year, saying we really hope this will be done for the 50th anniversary of Columbia. And I really do wish it could be done that way. Uh, just, it just can't happen. But Paul Verchinsky helped me realize that this will be done before the 50th anniversary of Oakland Mills. So, <laughs> On behalf of the Columbia Association, I'm pleased to be here uh, for the announcement by the county executive about the plan improvements for the uh, pedestrian bridge over US 29 which I believe will become a major connector for bicyclists and pedestrians between East and West Columbia. We all know that one of the goals of the redevelopment activities in the downtown area is to make the uh, uh, community's urban core a more walkable and friendly environment for those traversing the area by means other than a motorized vehicle. Well, with the ongoing redevelopment activities in the downtown area, there will be many more points of destinations, that's my term, uh, in the community's urban core, and residents and visitors will, have, will be able to frequent and stay a while in all these new points of destination, but also including the residents and visitors who prefer alternative modes of transportation, which is the bridge. With time, and I'm an optimist also, I believe there will be a spillover effect from the redevelopment activities in the downtown area that will benefit and be an impetus for economic redevelopment activities on the villages on the east side of the pedestrian bridge. The villages of Oakland Mills, Orrin Brown, and Long Reach. Once again with time, I believe that all those new residents and guests from the downtown area will be heading across the pedestrian bridge to East Columbia for shopping, to, uh, to dine at restaurants, to, vi to visit the renovated, renovated ice rink, the Teen Center, Bland Air Park, and other opportunities. And on a final note, back in the fall of 2011, CA launched the Connecting Columbia Project. And the vision for that project is 
Columbia residents and visitors will have comfortable and convenient access to an interconnected bicycling and pedestrian circulation system for health, rec recreation, and transportation purposes. I believe the plan improvements to the pedestrian bridge as, as announced are outlined by the county executive today is a significant step in towards the uh, community's pursuit of that vision. This is an exciting day. You know, for years we have talked about ways to improve the connection between East and West Columbia and to enhance this bridge and the experience for those who walk or ride over it. And now we have a new and dynamic and innovative and inviting new look for this bridge and I couldn't be more excited. This is the signature landmark that Columbia uh, has long deserved and I, I just can't wait to see it here. You know, this bridge is very important to me uh, because it connects my personal life in Oakland Mills with my professional life here in downtown Columbia. And I go across this bridge uh, almost every day. Uh, it, is, it is an essential link between those two parts of my life. This is the only connection across Route 29 in all of Columbia that is specifically designed for people rather than for motor vehicles. And I couldn't be happier to see a new design that will make the bridge more appealing to, to people who walk a ride across it, and it'll make Columbia itself more inviting for those who drive below. This is a big day for Columbia, it's a big day for downtown Columbia, and for really, uh, you know, the theme, I think, you know, Alan and Milton and he had all mentioned the theme of connection, and that's really a key theme of the downtown Columbia plan, and really of Columbia as a whole. And there couldn't be a more sort of literal interpretation of that theme than this multi-use pathway and this bridge. You know, with, with the multi-use pathway, we connect you know, people to wellness at the hospital and people to education at the community college and people to recreation at Blandair Park and people to their communities. So uh, this really is, uh, uh, you know, this pathway, I think is an amazing illustration of that theme of connection. And the key link between East Columbia and West Columbia is this bridge. And while today it is functional, uh, it would be hard to describe it as appealing or inviting. Um, but with this design, it really will be. I think uh, it's a great design. Um, and with this project, we're going to be transforming what is today kind of an eyesore into an icon for Columbia. So I also love that it is green uh, because, you know, there couldn't be, this is, this is about green transportation um, and, you know, walkers and bikers and uh, runners and skaters, you know, these are all non-carbon, uh, you know, uh, forms of transportation. So um, it's great for Columbia and it's exciting. And thank you very much to the, the county administration and, uh, and, and everyone who make this happen. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, in closing, it was, it was Greg was speaking, I saw uh, three uh, parents pushing their strollers down along the pathway. I mean, I love it. I love it. I love it. I know that Mary Kay walks everywhere in Columbia, along with her friend Joan here and others, but it's just fun to see more and more people out. And as I've heard talking to Ian earlier and others, we have a lot of people already using the bridge now more because of the pathway, and this will make it even better for everybody. So uh, as someone who grew up in all of you estates just down the road, this is exciting for me to see this happen, and I thank you all for being here. And I think what we'd like to do is maybe go up on the bridge here. Let's get a picture with everybody and, and, and have a little celebration. We'll do the before picture like Jenny Craig and then we'll have the after picture uh, next spring. Thanks a lot folks. Thank you.